of the IP. So I am doing here a course of uh, master in cloud computing in Shivaji Nagar, Bangalore. And uh, this is a, a part of Expo uh, for Hardware Expo. It's a part of GSR Abhyan. So today I am going to explain about all things about motherboard. So basically motherboards are uh, a number of types like we can say as it's a, a laptop motherboard, a, a desktop motherboard, server motherboard, mobile motherboard. So there are a number of types of motherboard. So basically we classified motherboard into the two types. One is integrated, one is non-integrated. So I have two motherboard here. Uh, this is integrated motherboard and this is non-integrated motherboard. These, uh, this one is non-integrated we are using for, uh, you mean uh, like uh, for older version, this is a new version we are using. So this is uh, server motherboard which we are using here. So like server motherboard uh, we are used for a huge purpose and a huge uh, requirements as per the uh, we need. So let me explain uh, some of the parts of the server motherboard. We got two SMPs over here. We got RAM. Uh, we got North Bridge over here. We got uh, South Bridge. And we got heat seekers, which uh, distributes all the heat from the processor which is coming out. We got two heat sinkers because we got two processors. So we got two heat sinkers. We got eight fans. Uh, to cool down the processor which the heat is coming out. So uh, the green color what we are seeing over here it is a primary motherboard. This is a secondary motherboard what we are using. Uh, the secondary motherboard is basically used for uh, your hard disk and all the input output uh, slots which are coming here and it transfers data to the processor and all the outputs you can get it. So uh, this is all about the server motherboard. Let's come out on the desktop motherboard. This is known as desktop motherboard. This is in non-integrated motherboard. Nowadays we are using this motherboard. This is integrated. Integrated is basically we are used for like every components and every uh, whatever the requirements we got, we got on a single board. We have to not to configure or we are not search for any components here and here. So here we got a uh, socket. This is called socket, CPU socket or microprocessor socket. Uh, here we can see a pins over here. It is called a uh, a PGA socket, this is called a pin grid array. So here we got a north bridge, south bridge we got, we got RAM and we got 24 uh, ATX which supplies power to the motherboard. We got IDE, this is also not called for, uh, you can say data transferring from hard disk, this is SATA and this is called PCI slots for extending a requirement like graphic, audio or video thing. And uh, here are some ports which is flash drive if you want we can extend it. Uh, these are all input outputs ports. Here we can fix mouse and keyboard. This is parallel, this is serial. Uh, this is VGA we use. Uh, here are uh, internet cable, LAN cable. These are uh, uh, USB ports. Here is mic and uh, headphone we can use. And the speaker we can use. This is input output ports what we use. And here we use CMOS battery. CMOS battery is nothing but it uh, stores all the BIOS and your timing and all. And uh, this is called CPU fan over here. CPU fan is nothing but uh, this is called a CPU fan. CPU, uh, CPU fan is uh, used for uh, pulling down the processor which it is coming out. And uh, you will get a one uh, system fan also. If you want to extend some uh, fan into the cabinet, can get a connection over here. So uh, this is all about uh, motherboard, desktop motherboard. Now I want to show you this is called a laptop motherboard. So in laptop motherboard its work functionality is uh, same for every motherboard. Here we are using um, processor. Uh, this is North Bridge, this is South Bridge. And uh, here we use RAM, hard disk we use here. And we can use some cards and all. Yeah, uh, these all are input and output ports of uh, laptop. That's all about all mother. Thank you.